What's up everybody out there watching this? If you are, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. This is my NXT Live, NXT Milwaukee review. Why am I doing a review? Well, when I came back from the show last night, it was like 12, 10, or whatever time it was. It was close to midnight. And I didn't feel like talking after doing a video after midnight about the NXT Milwaukee review, but I did post a lot, a lot of pictures on my Twitter. A lot of pictures from basically every single match that was on the show. I posted at TNA WWE Guy, and I also posted a lot of NXT Milwaukee pictures at NXT WWE Guy, my two Twitter accounts. But now I'm going to do a review on the show because I. Maybe somebody would like to hear what happened and what went on because I was there live. Here's a ticket to prove it. I was at NXT Milwaukee live last night, 24 hours ago. Or not 24 hours yet because the show started at 7.30 and it's not 7.30 yet here. But almost 24 hours ago I was there and it was... uh definitely one of the best most fun wrestling shows I've ever been to I was at a ECW show back in the day in the year 2000 I went to the original ECW at Hardcore Heaven 2000 pay-per-view that was very very fun very fun but I was only 16 years old and I don't remember that much of it. I didn't, I mean, I just forgot a lot of it. Even though I know the entire show, and I've watched it since then, I'm just saying I didn't appreciate being at ECW in the feel of the show and the crowd and everything. Last night at NXT, I felt the emotion, I felt the passion, the passion is back. I mean, the passion is back inside of me. NXT has put, has brought back the passion for my love for wrestling has been brought back in my heart because of NXT. And being there live just made it better. Watching NXT in 2015, uh, that definitely brought back my passion and my love for wrestling but being at a live NXT show there's nothing like it on this planet I can't describe it unless you go to one you know what I'm talking about I'm just saying being at a live NXT event is epic it's fun as hell the chants are great to get involved in the show if you're not going to go to a show and you're not going to be vocal and chant and be loud and chant NXT or do other chants. If you're not going to go to a show to chant and be loud and vocal, then you shouldn't even go to a show. Now I'm going to start my review. First, kicked off with um, the ring announcer for NXT. I believe her name is Dasha. I don't remember her last name. But Dasha, you know who she is if you watch NXT. She's the ring announcer. She came out with a new girl. Uh, I don't know who this new girl was. I forgot her name already, but they were both, they both looked smoking hot in person. They were on the stage before the show saying hello. They are saying hello Milwaukee and NXT is going to be starting soon. So get loud and get ready. And she then Dasha, the ring announcer, said, I have a friend with me. And she introduced some woman that was also holding a mic. I don't know who she is, but obviously she's employed by WWE. Probably because she's a hot chick. Anyways, then Dasha gets in the ring. In the uh, video, they have two video screens, like mini trons, but they're pretty large screens. Right by the entrance. 
So Triple H gets on, before the show starts, Triple H shows up on the screen and talks and says, we're live in your city because you demanded NXT. And then Triple H says his famous line, are you ready? And he says that. And then the NXT video, the NXT intro, the opening of the show that plays every Wednesday, that started playing on the screen. Crowd was getting fired up. They were already getting hype when that video pe uh, opening was playing. So then Dasha says, our first match tonight is for the NXT Tag Team Championships. And then Enzo Amore's music hits and the crowd goes wild. The arena exploded. It was a s super loud pop. Great, great, great reaction for Enzo and Big Cash. They come out, get in the ring. The crowd is absolutely on fire. When they come out, everybody's chanting, How you doing? How you doing? And then Enzo gets on the mic, does his gimmick, says all his catchphrases. He, he had the crowd in the palm of his hand. Everybody said every single word Enzo and Big Cash said. And at the end, Big Cash, WWE actually, on their Twitter account, WWE or at WWE NXT, they actually put out an Instagram video of Enzo doing his gimmick, not Enzo, Big Cash doing his gimmick, soft. Well, that's on uh, WWE's Instagram page. Anyways, you can watch it if you want to. It's on Twitter, where Enzo's saying S-A-W-F-T, and basically the crowd finished it for him, and they said it with him. It was great. Fun times. It was a great, great kickoff to NXT. Great start to the show to put Enzo and Big Cash in the opening match. It was a great start. Up next, you had Dash and Dawson come out. Tag champs. They had their belts. They hit their belts together. And they uh, cheated a lot of the match. The ref had his back turned a lot of the match. And Dash and Dawson took advantage of it. Did a lot of double team moves on Enzo. Kept cheating. Kept interfering with the ref not seeing them. And Enzo was really getting beat down. Really taking a beating. But then he finally made the tag to Big Cash. The referee, of course, did not see it. And it was funny. A lot of the crowd, a lot of people sitting by me the entire night were, were yelling at the referees a lot. They were just yelling at the refs. Turn around, I mean, you're a g bad ref, turn around, you idiot, and stuff like that. It was pretty funny that the fans were attacking the referees. Anyways, Dash and Dawson, they put on a pretty good match, but it felt like it was only, I think it was 15 minutes, or at least over 10 minutes, but it could have went longer, it felt kind of short, but whatever. They had a lot of other matches on the show, so it couldn't be that long. Because they had seven matches on the live NXT Milwaukee show. So D Dash and Dawson win, and they retain the tag titles. I expected that. I didn't expect any tag title change on a house show. But it was still great to see Enzo and Big Cash live and in person. It was fucking awesome to see them live and in person. And do their thing on the microphone so up next we had a women's match and when the announcer dasha said up next we got some women's action for you the crowd absolutely exploded they loved the hearing it alexa bliss well first carmella comes out she gets a great reaction great pop for carmella she's pretty well liked by most probably 90 nine percent of nxt fans carmella is pretty well liked so carmella comes out gets on the microphone says a few words and says she's usually the princess of staten island but tonight she says can i be the princess of milwaukee and the crowd popped of course and they agreed now next alexa bliss comes out to take on carmella they have a pretty good match carmella looked uh, fab fabulous and pretty damn gorgeous in person. Alexa Bliss looked good too, but I'm more of a fan of Carmella than Alexa Bliss. So, Carmella, 
Alexa Bliss, they have a pretty decent match. It wasn't great, but it was good. Carmella locks on a head scissors, and then Alexa Bliss taps out to Carmella's head scissors. So up next, we had Bo Dempsey taking on Eliza, Eliza Sampson, whatever his name is, Eliza Sampson. Eliza Sampson, Bo Dempsey was in the ring doing jumping jacks. The guy got a great reaction, great pop. Crowd was chanting, bowl fit, bowl fit, and go, bowl, go, go, bowl, go. Bo Dempsey's wearing a cheese head on his head. That is pretty funny. If you want to see the pics, I got them up on my Twitter, at TNA WWE guy, of Bo Dempsey wearing a cheese head. So, Bo, did, uh, Bo Dempsey wearing that cheese head, of course, he's going to get a great reaction because we're in Wisconsin and the Packers are still in the playoffs. In Wisconsin, of course, we're known for cheese here. So, Eliza Sampson then comes out, out of the crowd. He comes out near the women's bathroom. I don't know where the hell he was, but he came out from over there. Had his guitar in his hand. He was walking super slow, taking forever to get to the ring. The crowd got really annoyed. They're pretty pissed off at Sampson. They're booing him like crazy. They didn't like him. They're giving him a hard time. They're harassing him, doing all these chants at him. Then Samson finally gets in the ring. The guy sits. He goes sits up on the turn, top turnbuckle forever, and he doesn't want to wrestle. He's just sitting there. The crowd is getting angry. They keep harassing Samson. Then he finally, before he's about to lock up, and wrestle Bo Dempsey. The match has already started. He leaves the ring. The crowd's booing. Then he finally gets in the ring to wrestle. It was a pretty short match. Probably under... Felt like it was under 8 minutes. So, anyways. During it, Elias Samps, or Bo Dempsey took his cheese head off. The crowd started chanting, keep it on. Or put it on, put it on. Or keep it on, or whatever. So Bo Dempsey kept the cheese head on it and tried to wrestle the entire match with it on. It fell off, and then Elias Sampson picked it up, kicked it into the crowd. Not joking here, not lying here. When he kicked it into the crowd, the cheese head bounced off the wall behind me where I was sitting. I was in the fourth row, and I had great seats. Best seats I ever had to any wrestling show was last night at NXT Milwaukee. Anyways, the cheese had bounced off the wall where I was sitting, and I'm not joking, people. I caught it. I actually caught it. Crowd was chanting, throw it back, throw it back, throw it back. I tried to throw it back at, and uh, I should have thought to throw it back and hit Samson in his damn head with it, but he was out of the ring already. So I threw it back, and it uh, hit the top rope and fell to the ground, or hit the top rope, fell to the outside of the ring, and then... Eli Samson picked it up, threw it to the other side of the crowd, and threw the cheese head in the other side of the crowd. And then uh, their fans were chanting, throw it back, throw it back again. Person threw it back. And then Samson picked up the cheese head and tore it in half, and uh, people didn't like that at all. They booed the hell out of him. And then Samson left the ring. As I said, Eli Samson went over and defeated Bo Dempsey. And I don't know if I said Carmella uh, made Alexa Bliss tap out to a head scissors submission. Up next, we had more women's action. The NXT Women's Championship was on the line. Bailey went up against and defended against Nia Jax. Nia Jax comes out first. She gets a pretty decent reaction. She didn't really get booed. She got a good reaction. Some people... We're pretty happy to see Nia Jax. So, before Bailey came out, and before her music hit, the crowd started chanting already, Hey, we want some Bailey, we want some Bailey. You know that chant, they were doing that. For Bailey, before she even came out, before her music even hit. And then Bailey comes out, her music hits, she gets a huge reaction. Super loud pop, great reaction. Every single fan in the arena that I saw was marking out when Bailey came out because everybody loves Bailey. At least the people 
I saw that were there, probably over 700 people, love Bailey. And they just had their arms up. They love her. So then Bailey gets in the ring, does her gimmick of lifting her arms up. The, she had the crowd in the, her hands the entire time. She was super over. Bailey got probably one of the loudest reactions of the night, along with Sami Zayn and Finn Balor. They got the three biggest reactions of the entire show. They were the most over. So Bailey gets in the ring. Matt starts. Crowd starts doing what uh, NXT London did, where they were doing that long chant, and then they were saying, Bailey, will you be my girl? Well, Milwaukee started doing that. I didn't know what the hell they were saying in the beginning, but at the end they say, Bailey, will you be my girl? And before the match even started, the crowd was chanting, Bailey's gonna hug you, Bailey's gonna hug you. That was a fun chant. And because Nia Jax is a big girl, Bailey was going like this, like she couldn't get her arms around her. That was pretty funny. Pretty good match. It could have been longer, but uh, it was it was good. It was probably under for maybe ten minutes, I ten or eleven minutes, maybe. Anyways, Bailey retains with the belly to Bailey, her finisher. That's how she retained and won the match. Crowd absolutely loved Bailey. As I said, she got one of the biggest reactions of the night, along with Sami Zayn and Finn Balor. So Bailey retains. That was obvious. She wasn't going to lose the championship on a house show. But it was a, it was an honor and a pleasure to see Bailey in person wrestle. It was really fun, really fun, and I'm glad I went to NXT Milwaukee to see Bailey and Finn Balor and all the other stars, Sami Zayn, Enzo, Big Cash. I wanted to see them all. Up next, we had an intermission where... I had to go to the bathroom really bad and take a piss, so I went to the bathroom. And there was a pretty long line, but I got back and there was still like five minutes left of intermission. They started playing some videos on the uh, screens, the two little mini screens by the entrance. They played a video, did a Royal Rumble promo. That little promo where they said for the first time ever Roman Reigns or the champion defends his championship in the Royal Rumble match. And at the end of the Royal Rumble promo, the fans actually booed when they showed a little mini figure of Roman Reigns as a statue. The fans actually booed pretty loud when they saw Roman Reigns. So they the fans booed the Royal Rumble promo. They didn't like it. And then after that, they were putting up pictures of superstars on the screen saying, Who am I? To guess who they are before they'd show their pictures. They showed a picture of Sasha Banks. She got a great pop, great reaction from the crowd on the screen. They showed a picture of Bailey. She got a great reaction. They showed a picture of... Uh, Finn Ballard, he got a great reaction. Then they show a picture of Roman Reigns. He got booed out of the building. The fans really booed Roman when they saw his picture show up on the screen. So that was funny. And then the intermission ends and the next match starts. Well, who came out first was Milwaukee's own Tommaso Ciampa. He comes out. Gets a damn good reaction. Great pop because he's from Milwaukee. So Tomasa Champa gets a great reaction. He comes out and he looks really fired up. Really happy to be there because he's in his hometown. Up next, who comes out? Sammy Zane comes out to, to, to face Tommaso Champa. Sammy Zane gets a great pop. Huge reaction. Sami Zayn gets a absolutely huge reaction. The fans went nuts. They went wild. I thought the, the roof of the arena was going to blow off. Sami's music was playing. The fans were singing his music, humming his music. The, the entire crowd was humming his music. 
then they start the ole 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 chants. So they're, you know, those chants that go ole 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 ole. Fans start doing that before the match even started. Then the match starts. And Sammy's music goes off. Fans start chanting, let's go chomp, let's go chomp a Sammy Zane. Let's go chomp a Sammy Zane. One group of fans are chanting, let's go chomp a. The other group is chanting, Sammy Zane. Um, I was, nothing before, or no, not before. Anyways, the match has started, so they were already chanting. They started chanting, let's go chomp a Sammy Zane. And then, I was one of the group that was chanting for Sammy Zane. Fans first would chant, let's go chomp a, then the other the group of fans were chanting Sami Zayn. I was the group that was chanting Sami Zayn because I'm a bigger fan of Sami Zayn than I am of Tommaso Ciampa. But Tommaso Ciampa, great worker, hell of a worker, great wrestler to see in person. The guy gave it his all and put on a great match with Sami Zayn. This was probably one of my favorite matches of the night. It was the best match of the night in my opinion. Sami Zayn and Tommaso Ciampa, they tore the house down. It was epic. It was great. Some great wrestling, some great uh, false finishes, a lot of kickouts. When you thought it was going to be over, they kept kicking out. Tommaso Ciampa did this powerbomb move. He had Sami Zayn up in a powerbomb position, and then he powerbombed Sami Zayn on top of his knees. That was a great move, but Sami Zayn kicked out. Then he also did a spot. With where he threw Sami Zayn off the top rope with or picked him up off the top rope and slammed him backwards but Sami Zayn still kicked out anyway Sami Zayn gets a victory the crowd was on fire they were on fire for this match they as I said they were really happy to see Sami Zayn he got a great reaction Sami Zayn wins after the match he puts out his hand Wants to shake Tommaso Cham Champa's hand. And Tommaso Champa shakes Sami Zayn's hand. And then Sami Zayn's pointing at Champa. For the fans to give him respect, he gets a great reaction going to the back. And then Sami Zayn is standing in the ring. His music's blasting very loud, but I didn't care. I loved it. How loud it was. I didn't care how loud the music was. I loved hearing it. That was all part of the experience, the NXT experience, is hearing the music blasting and doing all the chants and just having fun at a live event. NXT Live is much better than uh, any WWE live event I've ever been to. And I've been to many pay-per-views and many Raws and many Smackdowns and many house shows. The only event I can think of that was very good on par with NXT last night is Over the Edge 98 during the Attitude Era that I was at. That was a very fun show to be at. So, after the match, Sami Zayn gets on the microphone wants to say a few, few words. Excuse me. So Sammy wants to say a few words, gets on the mic and says, You fans are here tonight, you fans are you fans are great and you're witnessing history because and then he brought brought up ECW he said fifteen years ago. He said what ECW did for me as a fan, he said now NXT is doing for you guys. And then the crowd popped and they started NXT chant very, very loud. Very passionate NXT chant. And then he says, and then a ECW chant broke out also. And then Sami Zayn says, you're still chanting ECW. And they've been out of business for 15 years. And he says, hopefully 15 years from now you fans will remember being here. And you, and hopefully 15 years from now you everybody will still be chanting and remember NXT. And then another NXT chant broke out. And then Sami Zayn said he's heard from other wrestlers at the building that NXT was at. Turner Hall Ballroom. It's a very old building. 
I mean, the ceiling, I was looking up at the ceiling, it looked damn old. Like it needs to be replaced. But anyways, Sami Zayn says he heard from other wrestlers that this was their favorite building to wrestle in and work in. And then he was talking for a little bit more and then who's someone's music hits. I couldn't believe it. It was Kevin Owens. His music hit. The crowd went insane. They popped. They went crazy when Kevin Owens came out and appeared. Kevin Owens had a mic. He was standing on the stage. He started talking to Sami Zayn. Then he started walking towards the ring. The fans were going insane, people. It was so loud. I marked out. I went nuts when Kevin Owens came out because I did not expect Kevin Owens to show up. Anyways, Kevin Owens gets in the ring, says to Sami Zayn, I was the one. I was the one that said this building was my favorite to work in. And then he says, I'm the one that said that. And then Kevin Owens starts bringing up that last Monday I was handpicked by the chairman, Vincent Kennedy McMahon. I was handpicked by him. And then Kevin Owens kept saying to Sami Zayn, you're not going to hit me. You're not going to hit me, but I know you want to. And he says, you won't hit me. And then he even says to Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens says to him, Vince McMahon doesn't even know who you are. And the crowd, they liked that. They ate it up. They didn't, had a great reaction to that. So then Sami Zayn said something like, I don't care, or not I don't care, but about Vince McMahon not knowing who he is, he says, this, he's, Sami Zayn says, NXT is better than Monday Night Raw. And I agree, it is better nowadays. He says, NXT is better than Monday Night Raw. He says, I don't want to be on Monday Night Raw. And then, of course, Kevin Owens kept pushing him and pushing him and pushing him on the mic, saying, you won't hit me, you're not going to hit me. And then Sami Zayn finally charged him in the corner. Big boot to Kevin Owens' face. Kevin Owens falls, goes to the outside of the ring. Crowd loved it. Crowd ate it up. And then Sami Zayn's music hit. And Kevin Owens walked to the back, and the crowd popped and went insane. Up next, we had... The main event, and as I said, the chance during Sammy and uh, what's his name, Tommaso Ciampa, the chance were great. We had this is wrestling chance, we had this is awesome chance, we had let's go Ciampa, Sammy Zayn chance. It was great, very fun match, and it was a match of the night. Not the main event was not next after Sammy. Champa up next was Eva Marie appearing. I couldn't believe it when she appeared and came out. I was pretty shocked because I didn't think Eva Marie would show up, but whatever she did. Eva Marie took on Peyton Royce. Peyton Royce in person is absolutely gorgeous. She's hot as hell. Peyton Royce comes out for or. Eva Marie came out first, and then Paint Royce. Paint Royce got a damn good reaction. Eva Marie got booed the minute her music, the second her music hit, Eva Marie got booed out of the building. She got really booed. Fans didn't like her. They kept booing and booing and booing Eva Marie. She's standing in the ring, taking her robe, robe off super slow, trying to get heat. And trust me, if you wanted to get heat, Eva Marie, all you you get heat by just appearing in front of the crowd. You don't need to do nothing else. That's I mean, she doesn't need to even try to get heat. She already has it. Eva Marie Paint Royce have a decent match. In person I was watching very close what Eva Marie was doing. If she was botching and messing up. She didn't mess up one one spot she messed up a little but the rest of the match she didn't really mess up I was watching very closely as I said and Eva Marie in person because I was so close to the ring to me Eva Marie in person did not look that bad in the ring she looked like she was improving she looked very improved and she looked decent she looked pretty good in the ring better than decent to me, Eva Marie looked like she has improved 
in the ring and she is learning and picking up whatever she was taught. So that's all I got to say. I'm not going to bash Eva Marie and say she should get out of the business immediately and never wrestle again and WWE should give up on her because in my opinion, from watching Eva Marie in person, to me it looked like she has improved in the ring. But on TV, when I watch her on TV, it doesn't look like she has improved. But in person, she looked like she improved and she knew what she was doing out there. But maybe that was because she was in the ring with a good worker in Peyton Royce. Maybe Peyton Royce was carrying a lot of the match and making Eva Marie look good. I'm sure she was because Peyton Royce was probably told to make Eva Marie look good out there. Pretty short match, probably under six minutes or eight, maybe eight minutes. Anyways, Eva Marie, of course, gets a victory. I didn't like that. A lot of fans didn't like that. But some fans are actually cheering and clapping for Eva Marie. They must be fans of Total Divas because I don't know why you would cheer her. I booed her out of the building when Eva Marie came out. Anyways, Eva wins over Peyton Royce. Now we go to the main event, which was a triple threat match for the NXT Championship. Finn Balor defended against um, Apollo Crews, almost forgot his name, Apollo Crews and Baron Corbin. Triple threat. It was very entertaining. Very good triple threat match. Very good main event. A lot of spots in this were very good, where all three guys were taking bumps and falling down, or one guy was being taken out, then the next guy be taken out, then the third guy be taken down. It's a very good, very entertaining triple threat match. Better than anything I've seen on the entire NXT show live was better than I've seen anything on Raw or anything on WWE pay-per-views in years and years. So, Finn Ballard, of course, retains. He wins. He retains his championship. That was obvious when he came out. He's doing this, the bullet, or the gun signs, bullet club stuff that AJ Styles does. He kept doing this. He was going around the ring after the match. He was doing this to every fan. And the fans are chanting, too sweet. And then they're clapping. They're saying, too sweet. Too sweet. And stuff like that. There were bullet club chants before the match. A lot of bullet club chants. They were very loud. A lot of Finn Balor chants. Fans were chanting Finn, Finn, Finn. Paulo Cruz got a great reaction also. He got a lot of Cruz chants. And Baron Corbin, he got a decent reaction also. The guy didn't get booed out of the building. So... Uh, Baron Corbin adds his fans during the match. It was pretty funny. Some fan yelled out at Baron Corbin, You're balding. Or start yelling, Corbin's balding, Corbin's balding. That was pretty funny. Crowd popped for that. Decent, great show, great triple threat match. If I rate the show, I'd give it a 10. It was very fun to be at live. As I said, it was, it brought back my love and passion for wrestling as a fan nxt has brought back my passion for wrestling again especially being there live it was so fun it was so awesome it was great i loved it i hope nxt comes back to my hometown milwaukee i hope they come back soon i will go hope they come back later this year i will definitely go back to another nxt show it was very, very fun. Uh, what else was I going to say? Some funny thoughts I have during the uh, NXT live show. During Eva Marie's match, some guy yelled. And Eva Marie was in the corner uh, kicking Peyton Royce and stomping her. Some guy in the crowd next to me, like three seats away from me, yelled, Eva's better than Roman. Or when she was in the ring, guys started chanting, Eva better than Roman, Eva better than Roman. That was pretty funny. Which, I don't agree with that. I kind of wanted to go up to the dude and say, Are you insane? You think Eva Marie's better than Roman Reigns on the mic and in the ring? No, she's not. 
but that's pretty funny. Best crowd reactions of the night, Bailey, Sami Zayn, and Finn Balor. They got, oh, and end on Big Cash. They got a great reaction. So four awesome, epic reactions of the night for those four. And they deserve it. Anyways, it's great, great to be at NXT Live. First time ever I've been to an NXT show. First time ever I've seen Enzo, Big Cash, Bailey, Sami Zayn, Finn Ballard, Apollo Crews. First time I've seen basically all these talents that were on the show. It was the first time I've seen any of them live. It was a very fun show to be at. If NXT comes to your city or your state, I really, I definitely recommend you go to an NXT live event. It's fun as hell to be at. I hope they come back to my city. I will definitely go again. Hope you enjoyed my NXT Milwaukee live review. Bye for now, everybody.